Hi, welcome to module two functions. We are going to skip quite a bit in this chapter one because you learned that in algebra two. So a lot of this stuff here is not going to be a part of your recording, but you can always use the book as a reference. So go back and look at, for example, functions and relations if you're confused or lines or transformations. We're going to jump right in with 1.7, analyzing the graphs, including piecewise functions, and then get into compositions in 1.8. Functions are everywhere, and one of the most popular functions would be anything including that, it, that involves money. So your paycheck, if you work X amount of hours, and what you would get paid for that job. Or here's an example of taxes, and you could start with a table of data and then do a regression equation on your calculator to figure out the function. Uh, in the module itself, we are, like I said, going to be focusing on compositions. We want to master compositions of functions. So that would be in 1.8 and near the end there, um, the terminology that Alex uses might be f of g of x or it might be f of g of x. Uh, if you do it the other way, g of f of x, which is g of f of x. And even if Alex doesn't do this, another teacher that you might have might use either type of notation. Um, they're the same thing. I just wanted you to be aware. And those do not, are not the same thing as so versus multiplication. So like g of x times f of x or division or addition, those aren't compositions. So pay attention to this language in the videos. Um, also, if they use the word function, something from your past, uh, every x for every x, there is exactly Oops, there is exactly one y. Uh, that makes a function. So every x has exactly one y. That is not true of all relationships. So everything in math is a relationship. Even the equation y equals 3x. This is telling you the relationship between y and x. y is three times as big as x. That's the relationship. That's a relation. Uh, this is also a function because every x has exactly one y value. A counter example to functions here then relations. Here's an example of another relationship. x squared plus y squared is equal to 1. This is the unit circle equation. And we can see that because of the y squared, you could have a plus or a minus for every x. So it would fail the vertical line test. Maybe that's something you heard from your past. But that still is a relationship. That's an equation. That's a relationship. That's a circle. If you graph a circle, um, you could see that. But that is not a function. So in this module with functions, we're going to deal with just the definition there. Every x has exactly one y. Um, and another thing that they might not point out from the uh, in the book is that we can also kind of think about x and y graphically in that if you had this point on a function, this function is actually um, the square root of x or x to the one half here, that this height on the graph that is actually your y value, but you can also call it f of x. So your functions, whether you see it as a y equals you know, radical x, or you see it as f of x equals radical x, they are the same thing. I think that helps. And then later in calculus, something that is important for us later, uh, if you were to go, let's use green, if you were to go this direction to the point, this is actually the distance x away, distance away from the y-axis, and that is a function of y. 
So you don't have to necessarily know this for this year, but this is where we're headed. So functions don't always have to be f of x, although that is what you are going to do in this course. Eventually they could be functions of y, you could just rewrite them. So everything is rewritable. Um, let me close that and click on these. You can see that the blue and the green are the same. Watch your exponents when if you see any radicals. So you could see it either way, x to the one half or x to the, um, I'm sorry, the square root of x. And then notice the difference. This was a relation. Okay, what's going to happen here? Oh, yes, there's more. So the red graph, x equals y squared. This is not a function. It fails the vertical line test, blast from your past. So any vertical line that you draw, every x in this case has two y values. This is not a function. So you will hopefully not come across these in your homework. But if you do, just remember that it is a relation. Back to Alex. Like I said, very short section. Um, and make sure that you are, let's just click on one of these, make sure that you are taking a look at the videos. So if you are in 1.7, you probably are watching this introduction to symmetry. It's a short video. Um, the algebraic way to do symmetry is not required in an online multiple choice environment, but be aware that there is some algebra that you could do to prove symmetry. And the most important thing from this section is odd even. Then in 1.8, you get into compositions. So good luck.